We're in the new Richard Booth's bookshop um, cinema. And is, what's happening today? Um, it's um, the opening of my exhibition here in the um, reception area. Where did your work come from? The heart, the head, the spirit? It, it can have to be quite meditative when I um, create it, so a good calm, clear mind, you know, not tainted by, by worries or distraction and all the rest of it. So it comes from a, a meditative um, place, but also it relies very, very much on years and years and years of, of study and practice in the tradition. The, the, you know, I have a, a, a proper formal uh, traditional training. And where did you train? Um, as a Buddhist monk, I trained... Um, up in Scotland, there's a, a lovely monastery up there, the first established uh, Buddhist monastery uh, in the West, and there were Tibetan lamas there. Um, I also went over several times and, and trained in, in northern India uh, with other uh, eminent teachers and, and lamas uh, from, from all, all over, really. Do you, do you need to understand what the pictures I, mean? I don't think so. Um, a, good, a good calligrapher, I believe, Will, the, the message will come through the, the actual form of the letters, the, the mood, the feeling should come through, should communicate. I don't think you necessarily need to understand actually what it says. My calligraphy that I'm creating is Tibetan, so there's not many people, especially in the Western world, that, that can read Tibetan. Um, but I do, I do put explanations, you know, a translation there for them. But the, there, it's not just calligraphy, it's iconographic. It, it, it's... Um, there's, through the, the, the shape and the form, something will come through. How long have you been in Hay? Uh, coming up for three years now. The environment here, uh, there's a really good art, art community here, um, generally. Uh, it's obviously a very beautiful place. And just, just a good standing of living, um, you know, ha makes, you, makes you happy. Good food, you know, beautiful area. I can be more relaxed and more focused on, on my work as an artist. So when you moved from the London, big, the big yeah, smoke, I moved from London. Yeah. <laughs> did did you have trepidations about whether it'd be successful? How have things been? Yeah, I certainly did. But it, it was a big risk, you know, because London promises everything, and uh, and it, and it says that you know, not much else exists outside of London, and I thought, well, gosh, I'm going to, I'll be losing clients, you know, um, but actually, the complete, to my surprise, opposite happened. You know, um, clients were more than happy to come all this way. Great, you know, a couple of days out or whatever. And I think shifting the uh, shifting that sort of energy of being in London and, and having more peace and, and quiet out here, I think it improved my work. Um, and and I guess people see that. 